All right. Hot quiz, hot shot. Oh, hey, there's a little. Really? Hot quiz, hot shot. Awesome. I guess it does work then. All right, before you leave for uh, lunch, which fields do we care about here and why? Okay, hey, I'm saying machine and date time stamp to begin. Okay, so why do we care about machine, Mike? Yeah, I'm trying to remember whether that has to do with 32 versus 64 bit memory. It does have to do with 32 versus 64, but not in terms of memory. It's sort of an implication, but it's not authoritative. In the file header, machine means whether you're running 32 bit assembly or 64 bit assembly or ARM assembly or you know, MIPS assembly. So this is telling us sort of what CPU, but we can kind of infer based on that. If it says it's running a 64-bit CPU, that was probably set by a compiler that knew it was generating 64-bit uh, binary. But yeah, that's correct. So uh, anyone else? Time date stamp? Why do we care about that? Eric? When the uh, file was compiled. Yep. When the file was compiled, we can use that for some sort of malware forensics and you know attribution and timelining and all that good stuff. Uh, any other fields that we care about? <coughs> Oliver? Uh, number. number of sections, yeah. Why do we care about that? Is it the case to you how many? Tells us the number of sections. sections. <laughs> yes, thank you. <coughs> All right, um, Jesse, another one? Other uh, characteristics? Yep, why do we care about that? Can you name me one characteristic? I promise, like I said, I don't even memorize this. We got too many characteristics, but. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. No, that's the DLL characteristics in the optional header. Okay. So thinking back further from that, what were some earlier characteristics? And I'm trying to think as well. Oh yeah, I got one. Yes. I just looked. Oh, that's okay. okay. Whether it can execute in greater than two gigabyte. Yep, greater than two gigabyte sort of range. Whether it's a DLL, I'd say. Personally, I'd consider like if you have to remember only one thing about that characteristics field, remember that it's got the flag that says whether it's a DLL or not. The sections do actually have to be explicitly ordered, so they can never be out of order. Like one virtual address has like a has a higher value than the next section. The sections, uh, it's kind of a weird implicit thing, but they always have to be that. If the dot text has an RVA of 1,000, the you know dot data cannot have an RVA of like 50, for instance. It has to be 1,000, then maybe 2,000, then 3,000, things like that. And then I'm switching over to this microphone. All right, yeah, so basically get started on round three. You're going to do, you know, a good five minutes or so. Ask me any questions if you're not clear on how the tools, how you can use the tools to get the information out of the things. Like I said, it's not always intuitive, but again, the point is in real life, you go read a specification file. It tells you what these headers and data structures are, and then you fool around with tools until you think you figured out, you know, what you're actually looking for. But I just give you the slightly faster version of that.